Hey, what's up, guys? So today we're going to take a look at a, uh, a car I had just recently bought last week. It's a, a 2010 Ford Focus SE. And she picked her up. She had right at 79,000 miles, which is really low for the year. She's in really good condition. Got a really good deal on her. So this is going to be like the new car for the channel. Love that blue on her. But anyway, let's take a look at the car. As obviously you can tell with the wheels. It has the, the machine magnetic wheels on it. And then if you go in the back of the car, see the spoiler. That's obviously there. This is a better view of it. This is a spoiler. And this is with the uh, SE appearance package. Yeah, I'll see, uh, she's covered in snow. We had a huge blizzard the other day. Dumped like 34 inches of snow here in Alaska. So, yeah, she's still... There's some snow on her. Yeah, I haven't been able to drive her yet because... Still has her summer tires on. And I just have to order some wheels, do wheels so I can put the snow tires on her. But anyway, let's go take a look at the, the motor in the sink. <laughs> As you see here, she has the uh, two liter. Hold on, let me get focus in. There we go. She has the uh, two liter inline four, which puts out about 130 to 143 horsepower and about 130 pound feet of torque. Not a, a, a lot of power by today's standards, but enough to get you from point A to point B. And that's all I'm trying to do right now. Do plan on modding her with a tune cold air intake exhaust and blacking out the chrome grill but uh, anyway let's get her started up <laughs> yeah she does come with an auto start Alright, it's not it's all stars not one work today. She's locked, so I'll have to actually lock. Pretty clean interior. Especially for the year. With it being a 10-year-old car. And now when I put the key in the ignition, you guys will actually see the actual mileage. Yeah, so she's at 79,485 miles. Yeah, she's a little low on gas, too. Love how it says focus on the tachometer. Yeah, she doesn't have the greatest infotainment center, though, but it'll do for now. Very clean interior. Very impressed with how clean the interior is. Yeah, we'll get to the seats in a minute, though, but anyway. doesn't really sound like fast. So she sounds shock. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But anyway. Ow. Just get the hood shut. Let me get the hood shut. Yeah, hood shuts. Okay. Alright, now with the hood shut, now we'll Go back to the back of the car. We'll take a look at the the trunk. Gotta open the, to open the trunk. There's this button right here. Just press it. Unlocks the trunk. Come back here. Trunk opens up. See here? Some pretty decent amount of space for a car of this size. And if you want to know where the spare tire is, 
you lift this up and there's the spare tire. And then you, right here, you the back back of the back seats right there that folds down for more storage. The emergency uh, release thing. Somehow you were in the trunk, out shut in the trunk. You pull that to open the trunk up. And let's work our way to the back seat. Got a decent amount of room. I mean, obviously not much room with the seat all the way back. You got a nice cup holder right there. Snow brush and a plug in to plug the car and to keep it warm in the winter. I mean, it, just the quality of the interior in this thing is amazing. And you got the power locks, or not power. You got win window controls in the back as well. You work your way to the front now. Yeah, we got window controls here too. That's child locks for windows so if you have your kids in the back don't want them rolling down the window just put that on the back windows won't roll down and you flick it back and then you can roll the windows down again also the power locks here pretty basic interior little pretty basic materials nothing compared to today's standards the e-brake right there it says the four speed automatic which isn't standard. Standard is a five-speed manual, which is hardly, you don't see much of those anymore. You more, more see the four-speeds. Got a pretty decent, deep size uh, center console for a car of this size. And then over here, you got the glove box. Pretty basic infotainment. This does come with Sirius radio. Has your aux cord, which is gonna be very useful two 12 volts here for your traction control obviously cd player i don't see much of those anymore and this that's been the so this has been the review of my 2010 ford focus se and the mods i plan on doing are getting new wheels for her New exhaust, cold air intake, a tune probably, we'll see about that. Obviously new stereo, speakers, possibly a sub, I'm still debating on that, but definitely better speakers, a, new, a stereo that has Bluetooth. Um, but anyway, if you guys want a more in-depth review and a review of me driving it out on the roads, Smash the fuck out of that like button. Make sure also you haven't subscribed. You better fucking subscribe. We're at 12 subs. Trying to get to 100 by New Year's. Which I know we can do it. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on this car. Updates on it. When I finally put mods on it. But once I get snow tires... I'll be sure to uh, do a video of me driving this car with my thoughts about how it drives. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.